Hello, everybody. Now, I hope you are just doing absolutely amazing. I'm doing pretty well myself. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah, I'm always pretty surprised, and I shouldn't be. It's completely my fault. But most of you guys don't know how to plant stuff. <laughs> Especially the last year, which we all know, craziness. And... I've always sold plants. It's my business. It's what my business does. You know, I sell, sell edible plants, guys. Grow food. Buy for me. Wink, wink, wink. Give me your money. <laughs> but seriously, ain't about the money. I, I have not worked a day in my life. Anyways, grow food. Seriously, though. But most people don't know how to grow and propagate and keep growing their own food. And... Obviously, here are some sweet potatoes, you know. Most people, if you do grow sweet potatoes, you're going to go online and buy your slips, and that's fine. Get started. I like named varieties. I do. Yes, you can grow from seed, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that here. But grow named varieties so you know when they're going to fruit. You know how long they're going to take. You know at least a little bit about them, you know what I mean? And then you go into selecting out your own thing over the years. But anyway... These right here are my purple sweet potatoes. It's dark out. Sorry, guys. It's getting dark. It's evening, so the light's on. And there you go. These are my darkest purple. Grew from seed and selected out myself over the years. Very nice, moist. Not super sweet, but if you let them cure, nice and sweet. Super dark purple sweet potato. Look at that. And you can eat the greens on these guys, by the way. But anyway, most people don't know how to grow their own food, let alone continue to grow their own food from their own stock. So here, it's this simple. I shouldn't have put dirt in that pot, but I'm sure you guys can get that far, right? Take a pot. There's a pot. This is my own soil mix I make. I like heavy mulch. I put a lot of mulch whether I have it myself from the tree companies or if I have to buy it, I buy cypress mulch, fine cypress mulch, and mini pine bark. That's what I buy. And I mix it with peat moss and whatever kind of manure I have on hand and compost, which for me is my composters are pig and I've got cows and chicken manure and, you know, put in a pile then I put in here and mix it up. But, you know, you can obviously go buy your own cow manure if you want. Look on Craigslist. People do sell their cow manure. This is what I like. Nice and fluffy and airy. Peat moss. And pine bark. Mini pine bark. And mulch. This is hardwood mulch mixed with everything because it's from a tree company. But if you can't get that, do the mini pine bark and the cypress mulch, fine cypress mulch, really well. I do 50% mulch and peat moss. It's about, you know, another 40% peat moss and about 10% manure, composted raw, whatever manure, pretty heavy on the manure. You can add it, you know, pretty fresh to it if it's cow manure. Pig manure the same. Chicken manure, you gotta at least let that sit or mix it in a few days before. Let the microbes get to work, cool it off. But anyway, nice and airy. And you take your sweet potato, just like this. By the way, these are just stored, harvested last year. Nice, cool, dry place. And I know when they're ready to grow and they start growing. It's that simple, guys. That simple. Take it. There you go. Just like that. Gonna stick them in these here pots, just like so. Fit one more in there. And this is how I start my sweet potato slips for my own sweet potatoes. There you go. And there's about three inches of dirt, soil mix, whatever you want to call it, in the bottom of that pot. Then take a nice handful, and there you go. Cover them with about another three inches.
and then you see all the mulch and everything in there. It is that simple, guys. And then you water them, fertilize them, take care of them just like any plant, and those roots will produce hundreds of slips for you, fine cuttings. And since they're already sprouting in about a week, they will be about a foot long, which is what I like them, and I will cut them off and go and plant them or sell them, whatever I'm doing with them. That simple to grow your own sweet potatoes, guys. Whether you're buying a storage root, which I do sell them like this, or you can even find them in actual stores for growing now. Don't just go buy eating ones now. If you're buying eating potatoes, they do spray them with growth inhibitors, and they're more likely to just rot on you. So don't go and do that. Make sure you buy potatoes specifically for growing because they spray them, they wax coat them, everything. And, you know, they're likely to rot on you. Just what it is. But buy slips and then save your own tubers for growing or buy tubers for me. I do sell tubers, so it's getting late in the year, almost done with it. And then I'll sell slips. But this is what I would sell. And this is how you plant it. Dirt, tuber, more dirt, water, fertilize, cut the slips off, plant them as you need it. These guys, which are about a pound, I'd say, will easily grow two, three hundred slips, if not more. And trust me, slips are expensive. I know, because I sell them and because <laughs> it's just, it is. They're expensive. Things aren't getting any cheaper. So you need to know how to do this. And save your own slips, save your own roots. Keep your own varieties going, even if you get a name variety. It ain't adapted to your area, guys. So grow it a few years. Select the best ones and keep on doing it. There you go. That is how you get your own sweet potato slips from a growing tuber. Very easy, guys. Super easy. Just get it done. Grow food. Grow purple sweet potatoes. These things are freaking amazing, delicious. And hint, 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 wink, wink. You know. <laughs> I do have a very awesome variety that I grow, just saying, <laughs> exclusively from me, <clears throat> just saying, you know, you know, it's not like I, you know, spent years saving seed from sweet potato varieties and selecting out the best ones and then growing those for years and, you know, <laughs> what, who does that, right? <laughs> and then who the heck names them, you know, darkest purple and what, pink titty? There's a pink titty sweet potato. Damn right, guys. Pink titty. My wife actually named it. Because they come out the ground pink. They're white inside. You know, like all sweet potatoes. They're not sweet when you first eat them. But, you know, you put those guys in storage. Oh, they're freaking amazing. Nutty, sweetness, honey. You know, moist, delicious. Like, oh, like you can't believe, guys. Damn, that's what damn. My wife called them titty for whatever reason but you know if you're a guy like, he doesn't well, what <laughs> yeah so you know you're like sitting here looking at my compost bin dirt area there's a pot there's sweet potatoes in it get off your ass and grow food guys the simple excuse the ass part you know I think we talk about titties so you know I was like it doesn't matter right <laughs> enough like and subscribe, grow food. This is how you grow your own sweet potato slips. And if you need to know how to plant them, just say and I'll tell you that too. But just subscribe first. Subscribe, you know, do that guys. Long enough video, see you later. Grow food, grow your own food, keep growing your own food.